Hey guys, Mike the Vike here back for yet another video. This time around we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to sync audio with a shot. So for example, you know, you know, syncing a gunshot with a bass drop in a song or whatever. So I'm just going to throw on a song. I'm going to go with a simple one first and then I'm going to go with a, a harder one to do. This is just, you know, just really simple. So here's your audio. Now this is kind of like the specs or characteristics of the song you can see here is quite easy that's why I chose this song because you can see the beat so if that makes sense so here's the first thing like so all you would honestly need to do is just find that first point so that's obviously the first one I mean you can go up right up to that but I would always suggest going back one frame so kind of find that point and then go one back. Then press M on your keyboard to make a marker. And um, so then just find the next one. And that's not the next one. That is would be kind of like your half beat, like halfway to it. I mean, you can you can sync that afterwards and call that like your secondary sync. You know, if we want to do like a screen pump or something. But for your just like if you're syncing the shots to the beat, then you don't want to use that secondary. You just want to use the mains, which are. So which would be this one. So again, that one. And then this one. So just click it, M. Find the next one. Here, click it. Click it. So then all you have to do after that is you just watch it. And I know that there's other like beats that look similar, but they're actually not the main beat in this specif specific song. So that's kind of the easy part, you know, actually finding this part to sync. So pretty much just find that first spot, and then, you know, usually it's like a second later or whatever, you have to find out. You'll just notice like there's a big point in the song. Um, and so all you would do after that is you would find and I don't know if you can see, well, I've got two monitors, so I don't know if you can see the secondary screen. Um, I'm just finding a clip right now. Um, so let's throw on this one. So you would throw on your clip, and let me just disable this first, which is really annoying. And um, first, there, hang on, let me just redo that. That's just, yeah. Um, First, you want to delete the audio from the clip. There's no need to have it. Just, just get rid of it. Then you're going to want to fast forward to where your gunshot is. The one you want, anyway. So that's our first shot right here. Right there. It's kind of quick, but, you know, maybe you do slow motion or something. So you want to find where the muzzle flash is. So that's obvious for this one. So then all you would do is you would split it right there by pressing S on your keyboard. And then you would put the, you know, one side of the clip on that side of the marker and then put the other side right there. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then... So that's, that's just the first part. Then you would want to find your second one, which is here. You know, you can see the muzzle flash. So again, zoom in, press S drag it to here and you'll notice there's a gap here and that's where you have time to do something like a, like a twixter, so like slow motion or whatever but in this case uh, let's say you just don't have the tools to do that you just find like a decent amount of clip like if you made it like this you couldn't fast forward it that much and it would look really laggy notice yeah so instead you want to find like a big chunk of clips so like that and you'll still notice it but it won't look as bad. Uh, you know, that's just if you need to. But another thing that you can do, which makes it look better, is don't go all the way up to the shot. Go a few frames back, press S, and then find the previous shot. But you want it like just kind of like a dead space in between the clips. So that it's not like don't fast forward or slow mo something like this. 
because it won't look as good, you want to find like dead space to the next clip. So then just oh, and to zoom to fast forward, you just hold down control and zoom and drag all the way to the next clip. So luckily, our third sync kind of matched up, but you still want to perfect it. Actually, that is literally perfect. Wow, yeah, that's that's perfect. That's really cool. But still split it, nevertheless. And so now you've kind of got... I think that's the end of the clip, really. So you'll just cut it off and then do a fade out. To do fade out, this is just like in general. Just click that little blue tab, or light blue, blue, depending. And then just drag it to the left, and then it'll fade out. And you can drag it more to, to do that. Oh, I, I guess I'll just call it tutorial syncing. Um, that's one thing you want to do when you're editing. Always uh, save often, so just press Control S, and then it'll bring up that prompt, and you can save it where you want. But just save often, and then you won't avoid any like any problems if you lost your clip or whatever. Now we're, I'm going to show you what you can do with these middle, these like half point things, like that. So again, you can sync them. So M, find the next one. There, this one's pretty obvious again, right here. So just M, M, and that's all we need. So all you do for these is you split right at the marker, click this little event pan crop thing here, or just on the end of that clip, click it, and this is kind of where you can change what the what the camera sees so see I can zoom in a lot or whatever but instead all you have to do is zoom in a little bit like that and then rotate it something like that and then what you do is make sure you have this clicked the sync cursor by the way and then go a few frames ahead and then right click and restore and if that looks good to you which it does to me then all you would do is you click on that and you can save it as whatever so like um, screen pump 13 so you save that and then you say you go up to find your next beat click on it click on the event pan crop and select from this little drop down menu screen pump 13 and then if you want you can reverse it so just like go the opposite you know and then go a few frames ahead right click restore very simple so let's see how that actually let's just finish it up so find it again event pan crop screen bump go a little few frames ahead and restore so now let's see what this looks like So that's really simple. I mean, you can add in a fade out of your audio and then and then of course, you know, if you wanted to make this into a true edit, you would go and I'll just show you what this what this could look like. Won't take too long. Um that's the Barrett, so one for three gun sounds. Gun sounds primary sniper 50 cal. So you'd find, you know, just Google up 50 cal or Barrett 50 cal Modern Warfare 3 audio. So that's pretty good. We don't need it that long, so you could just drag it like that. And no, so you just put it down into the next audio track to make a new audio track. Right click, insert audio track, or Control Q, and then for audio for video track, Control Shift Q. So, and since this is a little loud, the Barrett. It kind of overpowers the music, so you can lower it a few decibels with this little scroller here on the bottom left. And that's pretty good. So you just copy that, and you would go to your next one, paste it, go to your next one, paste it. So here's an example of what that would look like. So that's what it looked like, and then if you want to change this up even more, you copy this, like so like select it, control C, paste it, drag it up to where it was, right click and go reverse, and then and you want to get rid of that little ending part. 
So you want to get rid of where it actually shoots. You just want the follow up to that. So S to cut that and then click on the leftover delete. And and since that's a little quiet, so we're going to put it into a new track just by holding it, clicking it and dragging it down. And then, you know, it's got it doesn't have the minus 5 decibels. And And actually this is a little too quiet, so So that's what it would look like, and um, that's kind of really basic syncing, and it actually turned out pretty nice. So, you know, obviously if after this you would add in color correction, effects, overlays, things like that, and I may or may not do that in another tutorial, I don't know, I, I may not do this at all, but anyway guys, that was a really quick tutorial, and actually before I end it, I'm going to show you another, um, I'm going to show you another song, a little more difficult one because that song was really easy to sync. Um, yeah, this one. Okay, so just throw on your audio, your your song. Again, same thing. And you're just going to find where it syncs. So here's the audio. This is what we're going to be syncing. good song um, so for this it might sound a little hard to sync it because it's kind of you know it's got so much going on in the background that it's kind of hard to hear it but there is still a pretty noticeable beat so first one is obviously this one so pretty obvious so just press M and you always go one frame back so that might be the good one but one frame back is always good so again and you can hear the little click for the second one here but that's your secondary. You can use that for screen pump again. That's your primary. Mark it. So again, just find. So here's your second one. One frame back. Mark it. Third one. Mark it. And uh, you can literally just drag on. Let's see how this turns out, actually. I'm just copying over my old thing. I want to see if it syncs up. So this, so this song is synced differently. The timing's different, but... You know, you just kind of do the same thing past that, but I just wanted to show a more difficult song. Just showing, showing that there is a beat in every song, pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.